An emotional and thrilling tribute in our skies today. The Navy Blue Angels and Air Force Thunderbirds teamed up to say thank you to our essential workers. So Operation America Strong for us was our little way that we could give back to the community. A salute to the nurses, doctors, everyone involved with uh, the, you know, the front line against the fight against COVID. It was just one little thing that we could do um, to show the American public that we were behind them. Every single person's lives were changed uh, in 2020 in some capacity, uh, whether it was the actual COVID virus or whether it was um, changing how your company did business or what, how we changed our own mission set. Every single person to some capacity's uh, lifestyle was modified just a little bit. Prior to America Strong and prior to COVID, uh, we had a, a, a joint collaboration down in El Centro with the Blue Angels. And we were able to share stories, share training techniques, share airspace, and all the things that we each indivi individually will do. Steel Sharp and Steel at both teams, we perform very similar uh, routines, but they're still different in their own respects, different aircraft, different services, uh, and different processes. Uh, but you know, there's always things to be learned from each other. We are a very special Blue Angel Thunderbird team over the last couple of years because I think we've spent more time with each other than probably in the entire 75 year history of the Blue Angels. When the COVID situation started uh, becoming more, uh, uh, more mainstream, we realized like this is probably going to have an effect on us for this season. And then the next day it came out that, hey, we're not, our, our El Centro air show is canceled. And then our next air show canceled. Definitely a little disappointing given our mission set is really like, it's being social and, and reaching out to the community. That's our mission, uh, community outreach and, and flight demonstrations in the service country, right? So how can we best execute that mission in a different capacity? So we were able to uh, leverage the relationships that we built earlier in the year uh, to come up with the America Strong missions in a joint fashion. So not only did each team do individual flyovers, but both teams were able to come together and fly uh, the uh, both Delta formations through some of the nation's uh, biggest cities to honor our healthcare workers. That year when we were getting, getting ourselves uh, strapped into the jets, for that first COVID flyover that we did up in New York City, Philadelphia, DC area, was one of the more powerful, uh, powerful experiences that at least I've had on the team. You know, the uh, the impact that that was able to provide, the motivation that was able to provide to people in uh, New York City and the other major cities that we flew over was something that I don't know if we will all ever truly know. But we're watching the news that morning on everything that's happening, you know, on the streets and. Here we are in the blue jets, you know, flying the formations that we're trained to do over a city that looks normal, but you hear the stories and stuff that are coming from down there. Detroit, where you're literally seeing a, f a car manufacturing factory that had stopped production on vehicles and parts and went to start making masks and ventilators, like things like that. They're just eye-opening. All these stories that you hear, and we are just very, very lucky to provide our little way to give back to the community by flying an airplane. Being able to be a part of, uh, of that and uh, you know, have people look towards the skies and maybe focus a little bit on something else instead of uh, the pandemic was, uh, was powerful. And it was truly an honor for, for both teams to be able to do that and say thank you uh, to a country that uh, really needed it.